A special event is taking place at the famous Golden Temple in Amritsar, in the state of Punjab, northern India. Along with thousands of others, Harsimran Kaur has come here to celebrate the birthday of Guru Nanak, the founder of the world's smallest and youngest major religion, Sikhism. Harsimran lives in the family house in Amritsar. She's 14 years old and is currently studying for her school exams. But even more important to her is her religion and the sense of duty that this brings. According to the teachings of our Gurus, a true Sikh is one who treats all human beings as equal, shares his food, remembers God, does good deeds always. And you can do whatever work you please. You can be a shopkeeper or businessman, but you must do good deeds. It was a great religious leader or guru who founded the Sikh faith about 500 years ago. Guru Nanak did not like the rituals and traditions of Hinduism. He and the nine gurus who succeeded him set up a new religion, Sikhism, based on the idea of a single God, an afterlife, and a soul that is repeatedly reborn. Nowadays, there is no human guru. Since the tenth guru, the spiritual guide for the Sikhs is their holy book, the Guru Granth Sahib, which is carried every day into the inner part of the Golden Temple. The most sacred object in the Sikh world it contains the teachings of the ten gurus and of other writers, including non-Sikhs. The Guru Granth Sahib is everything to us now. The tenth guru said, this book is your only guru hereafter. It will fulfill your wishes. Don't think that because this book cannot talk, he cannot be your guru. We read it but never touch it with unclean hands. We respect the Guru Granth Sahib very much. Some Sikh households have their own much treasured copy of the Guru Granth Sahib carefully kept under wraps. When Hasimran's family meet for their evening prayers, it is the Guru Granth Sahib that they chant from. The Sikh emphasis on regular reading from the texts is meant to keep God in the forefront of life and give one guidelines to live by. As a sign of respect, a chauri or fan is waved over the holy book, which is always carried on the head above all worshippers, before it is stored away for the night in a special cabinet. The focal point of Sikhism and the holiest site is the Golden Temple. There are some 13 million Sikhs in the world and many make a pilgrimage to the Golden Temple at least once in their lives to pay homage to God. Here the greatest treasure of the Sikhs is kept, a 200-year-old copy of the Guru Granth Sahib. The words of the book are treated with enormous reverence and also adorn the walls of the temple. The lake surrounding the Golden Temple is sacred and contact with these waters is believed to be especially beneficial. Sikhs have to follow a number of religious duties, including a dress code. They must wear five symbols of the faith, known as the five Ks. Kacha or shorts to represent moral restraint. 
kirpan, a dagger or sword, signifying courage and self-sacrifice. These days, it is often a purely symbolic weapon. To symbolize unity with God, a kara or steel bracelet is worn. And to show they are dedicated to the faith, Sikhs are not meant to cut their hair or kesh, but must use a kanga or comb to keep it tidy. The hair is held in place with a long strip of cloth, which is wound around the head as a turban. Sikhs believe their hair must never be cut. Absolutely not. That is one of the wrongs which we call a sin. All those deeds which go against the rules of Sikhism are sins. For example, someone who has cut his hair is called a tankaya and has to obtain forgiveness for his mistake. He is ostracized, then has to go to the temple and beg forgiveness before the Guru Granth Sahib. The Sikh dagger or sword has sometimes had a more than symbolic significance. Sikhism has often faced hostility from members of other religions. And over the years, Sikhs have had to fight for their religious rights as saint soldiers. They have a proud military tradition. And for centuries, Sikhs have been known as some of the greatest warriors in India. This tradition continues to this day and is handed down to future generations to preserve what is called by Sikhs the true religion. Sikhism is called the true religion because there is no pretense in it. For example, we do not believe in offerings or chanting with sacred fire like Hindus. We simply have to meditate upon God's name with heartfelt sincerity, whether in a temple or at home. As part of Guru Nanak's birthday celebrations, there's a light-hearted turban tying competition. Children are born into the faith, but do not become fully-fledged Sikhs until they go through an initiation ceremony, after which the boys will always wear their full turbans with great pride. The end of the year is the Sikh marriage season. Riding to his bride on a horse, the bridegroom is veiled and covered with money to confirm his financial standing. The wedding, or ceremony of bliss as it's called, is of two of Harsimran's friends, Sukhvinda and Harpreet. In almost all Sikh weddings, the choice of partner is arranged by senior relatives, based on age, appearance and character. But they should always be a Sikh. Weddings are supposed to be simple. We shouldn't have lots of flowers and you don't have to wear special clothes on the wedding day. You can wear what you like. A lot of makeup even. Status, caste and riches are not that important in deciding marriage partners. And marriage can only take place if the couple is willing. As in all Sikh ceremonies, the Guru Granth Sahib plays an important role. And the wedding is only sealed when the couple are seen to walk four times around the holy book.
Sikhism is not only about tradition and worshipping God. It's also about giving to charity and working as hard as you can. Partly due to this belief, Sikhs often do well in life and the Punjab is one of the most industrious and prosperous states in India. You should not only meditate upon God's name, but work hard too. A duty called Kitkarna means to work hard and do no wrong. You shouldn't just sit around and order people around without doing any work yourself. Earning should be through your own efforts. And another principle is that of sharing. We believe in giving a tenth of our income to others. The Sikh principle of sharing is demonstrated at the Golden Temple in the daily preparation and giving of food. Each Sikh temple has a special area set aside called a langar, where food is prepared and served. Anyone, whether they are Sikh or not, rich or poor, can come here and have a simple meal free of charge. It's a way to put into practice the Sikh belief in sharing and in the equality of all human beings. The celebrations in Amritsar continue with a procession around the town. They are escorting a golden carriage which is holding the Guru Granth Sahib. People come from all over the Punjab and further afield for this occasion. It's a time not only to honor the holy book, but also for Sikhs to renew a sense of their own identity. I feel good to be a Sikh. I am proud to be Sikh because there is no hypocrisy. There are no restrictions or compulsions in it like having to go on pilgrimages. Whatever you do must be straight from the heart. The main aim must be to chant God's name, to remember God with a pure heart and harbor no malice towards anyone. Only he who does this is called a true Sikh.